All right. How to write awesome email teasers. What's an email teaser? Okay. So an email teaser has one purpose in life. That's it. And that is to get someone to click a link and go to a sales page. All right. That is the only thing it's designed to do. And every component of it drives this. Okay. So always keep that in mind when you're writing an email teaser. All right. Do not, do not sell your offer in your email teaser. Do not sell your offer. Why not? Because the sales page does that. The place you're taking them to, either to read your sales letter or to watch your videos, your VSL, your video sales letter. Don't attempt to do this in your email teaser. That is not what it's for. Okay. So the next component, your subject line and it better rock. I think we all know that people's in inboxes are crowded, right? You have an awesome privilege and responsibility if they're on your email list to deliver nothing but value bombs. Never, ever, ever reach out to a potential customer unless you're delivering value. Okay. Hugely important. So that subject line better rock. So, so let's take copywriting copywriters. Okay. <clears throat> Something near and dear to my heart, obviously. So if I'm writing a subject line for people who want to learn copywriting, I'm going to use a subject line. I'm going to use something like, are you worried that the next Facebook ad copy is going to fail? So what does that do? Well, the only people who are going to click on that are the people who are my potential customer. If they want to learn copywriting, nobody else is going to click on that. And that's great. Why? Because I don't want a whole bunch of traffic going to the sales page and I don't want to have to spend a whole bunch of money targeting audiences who are never going to be my customers. Okay. So the subject line does two things. It engages the right people and it gets rid of the wrong people. All right. So, in the worksheet that goes along with email teasers, you're going to have all of this mapped out so you can start building your, your email teasers. Okay. Next, use software, use email software. Okay. People ask me, you know, what do you like? What do you use? I use MailChimp. I use this. I use this. I'm a big fan of active campaign. It's what we use in our business. It works awesome. But the, but there's a bunch of reasons why you want to use email software that I'm not going to go into in this video. However, the main thing I do want to talk about is you want software that has the ability to do F name, which is first name so that it looks at your email list. It knows who everybody's first name is because prefer, hopefully if you set it up right when they opted into your email list, because you had a lead magnet campaign that you ran traffic to that said, you know, some type of lead magnet, top three mistakes co most copywriters make that cause their copy to fail. And they opted in and they gave you their first name at least and their email address. So your software knows their first name. It makes it a whole lot more person personal. So when that email is in my inbox, it says, Hey, Ed, and then whatever the teaser is going to be. So use software that has the F name capability to send your emails out. Okay. So right after your subject line, what's the very next thing that you need to have? You need to have a shocking statement. Go back to our training on shocking statements. Hugely important here. Why? Because remember what we talked about. They are hypnotized. They are asleep. They are reading the whole thing while they're thinking about what they're going to have for dinner or while their kid um, shoved a, a, a popsicle in another kid's eye socket at school or whatever it is they're thinking about. Okay while they're reading that email. So you have to shock them out of their complacency. You have to yank them out of their hypnosis. And when, and when you do that, and once you've got their attention, then you can make your statement similar to first name. Hey, Bob, did you know that 90 plus percent of sales copy that's ever been written has failed to convert customers? That's the kind of shocking statement that's going to get somebody attention. It's going to snap them out of their trance. Okay. <clears throat> Again, this is all spelled out in the worksheet. Okay. Next, you want three to four of your best bullets. By this point, you should have an arsenal of badass bullets from the training. Okay. Three or four of their best, best, your best bullets. What I really prefer to do with these bullets, 
Sometimes I'll use the ones that I've developed before, but sometimes I'll go to why they fail. So if 90 plus percent of all sales copy that's ever been written has failed to convert customers, here are three reasons why they failed. They fail because they use terrible headlines. They fail because they don't speak to the conversation that's going on in the heads of their customers. I mean, there's a whole list of things, okay? Why copy would fail, okay? This whole course is a reason about why copy can fail and how to fix it, okay? So you point out the three to four bullets. This is why, this is why they fail. They fail, this is why. And then you're gonna say, but really good news, because I just got finished making this video that I'm gonna share with you that shows you exactly how to take these mistakes, learn from them, not make them, and write copy that kicks ass and converts, okay? And then after that, nothing more than thanks and your first name. That is the anatomy of an awesome email teaser. It's all in your worksheet. Go through the worksheet and you'll start writing killer teasers.